Welcome back to Snowbound. I'm your host, Ember Snow. And if you've never seen any of these episodes, you can feel free to dive right into the other episodes. Today is going to be being Filipino. So here are your questions about being Filipino or myths about Filipinos. Here's one. Truth or myth? Manny Pacquiao is every Filipino's kind of crazy uncle? Uh... <laughs> Okay, first of all, if you guys don't know who Manny Pacquiao is, he's like this famous boxer who is Filipino and he is really good at his job. Um, <laughs> I mean, if you ask me, I don't know about crazy, but crazy having that job to this day, it's just like, wow, it's just admirable. But other than that, I mean, I suppose he's like an uncle unless you know they are on the same age as him <laughs> so i don't know how to answer about this one I, I i'm leaning more towards um a myth about many being our crazy uncle truth or myth filipino women are horny all the time ask him for a friend no that's a myth <laughs> hate to break it to you if that's the reason why you want to angle a filipino woman because oh hello <laughs> um no it, it's it's a myth i am sorry we're crazy in our own way but it doesn't mean that we're horny all the time but the thing about filipinos in general is um we are raised in a very what's the word, repressed um, environment. We're very family-oriented, and we were raised as Catholics. So um, there are some women who are going to find that kinky, and then there are others who are just going to be straight up, no. So, yeah, it's a myth. Sorry. <laughs> I do admit that when I, this is something personal, when I discovered masturbation, I was actually horny, like 24-7. I could not wait to just be alone at home. This is when I was, like, taking classes. Um, <laughs> I, I couldn't wait to go home and do my deed. And sometimes I would actually do it so many times. I'm not exaggerating. Like, I, I probably did it five times in one day before because it just, it just felt so good. Like, <laughs> so, yeah, I was, I was horny all the time. <laughs> not all of Filipinos, though. Do you often go to the Philippines? No, it's actually been a while since I've been to the Philippines. And for those of you who don't know, I have actually never lived in the Philippines. I wasn't born in the Philippines. I was born in Saudi Arabia. Completely different environment. Um, but I lived in the Philippines for a little bit, but not enough for me to actually know everything that is to know about the philippines the culture and all that stuff um i lived almost all my life here in america specifically speaking in los angeles so when it comes to these myths and questions about filipinos if i get it wrong sorry ahead of time because i identify myself as more of an american than filipino or arab Mostly Filipino. Where would you recommend visiting? 
Um, I've, again, I've never really explored the Philippines as much as I should have. So I've never been to this place that I'm about to recommend. But I have heard Boracay is good. Palawan is another one. They're all geared towards nature. Boracay is more of like the um, Hawaii of the Philippines. So if, if that's your thing, um, go to Boracay. Palawan is more nature. Like, you are going to see water, but you're going to see, like, um, more plants and stuff. But it is beautiful. It is it is beautiful in both places. If you are go- if you're looking for something more like New York in the Philippines, <laughs> you can go to Manila. Um, last time I was there, it's kind of dangerous. So be careful. Just, just do your research. But yeah, those those three. I, I would say go to Baraka first. It's it's breathtaking. So it's commonly known Filipinos love karaoke or singing. What is your go to song to sing? Okay, it is true that there are some Filipinos who love karaoke and sing, but I feel like it's more towards about Japanese <laughs> who are into karaoke. I am actually one of the Filipinos who don't sing in karaoke, so there you have it. It's a myth. Um, <laughs> I'm breaking that stereotype. So I don't have a I don't have a go-to song for you. Are you hoping for like a sample? Sorry. <laughs> I mean, this is a, okay. I'm gonna admit this. It's just for you guys, though. Um, I sometimes sing in the shower. That's that's my karaoke in the shower. It's I don't know. It just sounds so much better because of the echoes and you know the <laughs> the water adding some kind of effect to everything. So that's the only place. Um, but yeah, I just sing whatever my mood is at the time. You're never going to (laughs) know. Can you cook? No. Do you enjoy cooking? No. (laughs) No. Uh, (laughs) So if we were together, I'm sorry, you're going to have to make the sandwiches for me. Okay? You're not, I'm not going to be making the sandwiches for you. I don't even know how to make scrambled eggs. Sorry. (laughs) <laughs> Maybe um you know those uh, ramen where you just add hot water, but sometimes I also mess that up, and they the noodles have become too soft. So yeah, no, I don't I don't cook. <laughs> um, there's a follow up question to these two questions though. What's your favorite Filipino dish to cook? You already know, I don't cook or eat. So, um, what I, my favorite dish is kare kare. And, um, how do I describe it? It's, 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 it's oxtail stew. You know, it's, it's, it's a mixed. You have to eat this with rice. It would be a sin for you not to eat this with rice. Um, <laughs> it's, it, just think of rice as kind of like mashed potatoes and this dish is like your steak except it, it's oxtail but it also has some vegetables into it um like eggplants um i don't know how to say this in english sito and there's one more green leaf into it i forgot but anyway what makes it so much more different from the other Filipino dishes is you actually add peanut butter into this dish. I know it sounds odd, okay? I mean, everything about the Filipino dishes are odd, but it's, it is so good. It's what makes it more flavorful. I personally like um, peanut butter with nuts, you know, a little bit of the nuts. So if you eat kare kare with like peanut butter with nuts it kind of adds some more crunch into it 
so yeah this is this is good i swear i swear you need to try it i know it sounds gross it's good <laughs> all my filipinos this is a very rich dish you only need a little bit of it so yeah i mean you're good this is di this is dinner this is not lunch by the way it's not also breakfast but yeah it's i swear okay it's good if i meet a filipina do you think it will impress her if i speak in tagalog <laughs> um no no i'm sorry i'm just gonna be for being honest here no it's not going to impress her you're going to just look like a circus monkey and you don't want that it's good to like understand you know but try n please do not speak in Tagalog or try to speak in Tagalog, especially if you only know a few words in Tagalog. It's just the girl's going to probably laugh at you. <laughs> Again, it's good to know the words like to understand it. Don't try to speak it. You don't want to look like that. No, just don't do it. I know what you're thinking. Sorry. <laughs> just being honest with you. What's your go-to Jollibee order? Might simple. It's just one piece of chicken. Usually it's just a drumstick. And um, spaghetti. The, the thing about Filipino spaghetti is what makes it different is it's they add some kind of sauce to it that makes it a little sweeter. Um... I believe it's called banana ketchup. I know it sounds weird. Okay. <laughs> but it is so good. It's, it, it adds a little bit more, like a different flavor to it. And as Filipinos, we love everything that's bad for us. We love the sweets. We love anything that's like fatty. We love everything that's like, especially carb-based. Hence all the uh, breads and rice it's like we have to have everything with rice so when i actually moved out of my parents place it was hard for me to adjust out of that because even when i wasn't cooking rice i still leaned more towards eating fries and bread especially when the restaurant offers bread it's like I, I, I cannot I cannot not eat bread more so by the time the actual entree comes in I'm I'm gone I'm done I'm good like I don't need anything more but yeah <laughs> Filipinos those three things they're they're pretty bad but it's what makes everything so much more flavorful <laughs> That's it for today's episode. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit more about Filipinos. Please do not speak in Tagalog. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys next time.